Hey YouTube, my name is Devin and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my November book haul. And I have 10 books to haul today and all of them are from thrift stores. So they're either from Salvation Army or Goodwill. So first up I went to the Salvation Army and the first book I picked out was The Shack by William P. Young. And my mom actually saw this in my room and she said that she tried to read this book but she couldn't get into it because the beginning was too upsetting to her. And that would be because it has to do with a terrible tragedy that happens when a little girl is abducted and apparently murdered, I think, in this shack. And then this guy gets a note that is apparently from God telling him to go back to this shack and so I don't know what it's about other than that but it says on the back that the shack wrestles with the timeless question where is God in a world so filled with unspeakable pain so it looks like it's going to have Christian aspects to it and just kind of give this guy some insight into why something so terrible would happen to his daughter and I'm interested to read it. I hope that I can get into it because sometimes books like this could kind of stress me out or make me a little bit anxious because it's just upsetting. It's an upsetting situation so hopefully I'll be able to get past that and get into this book. The next book I got was Ghost Letters by Stephen Alter and I would never heard of this book but I picked it up because I thought that it looked interesting and sounded interesting and apparently it is about these two people and they find some really old letters and there is a supernatural element with a ghost I think that helps them like uncover a mystery or something along those lines. The next book I got is kind of random and it is book five of the Mortal Instrument series It is City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare and I don't own any of the other Infernal Devices or Mortal Instruments books so this is kind of like extremely random. I decided to pick this book up even though I don't own any of the other ones because at Salvation Army they do their pricing by it's 10% of what the normal cost would be. So for $2.19 I definitely could not pass this book up. It is a hard copy and the hard copies oh my goodness sometimes hard copies get on my nerves because of the dust jackets and stuff and they can like fall off and everything but they're so much prettier on your bookshelves and they're like just so much sturdier and they don't get bent up when you're there in your bag and everything. So I think that it's worth it to sometimes get hardcovers, but I'm kind of torn. Some people are like, I really like hardcovers or I really like paperbacks, but I'm just like, they both have perks and I don't know which one I like more. So I have just kind of an even mix on my bookshelves as far as that goes. The next two books I got at Salvation Army I found in the children's section and the first one is Nim's Island by Wendy Orr and I decided to get this book because I used to watch this movie like every single day and then go out in the woods behind my house and pretend that I was Nim and this movie was literally my life when I was younger. It's been a while since I've seen it but I loved the story so much, so I am sure that I will like this book. The next book I got was Diary of a Wimpy Kid Dog Days by Jeff Kinney. And I am slowly collecting all of the hardbacks of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid books. They are back here. I have three of them so far. Now I have four. And I read these books in middle school, I think, and I really liked them, so I just kind of wanted to have all of them. The only problem is this has a really ugly sticker on the front, but... I think I can get rid of that with some goo gone, get the sticky stuff off the book. That drives me crazy too, is when they put stickers on the front covers of books. Whose idea was that? Because then you rip, try to rip it off and you get left with a little bit of paper and then even when you get that off it's still sticky and dust and all this fuzzy stuff just gets stuck to it and it's not good. Whoever's idea it was to start putting stickers on the fronts of books obviously was not a book lover. That's all I'm going to say about that. But yes, I got this. This is the fourth book in the Diary of Wimpy Kid series, and I haven't read this one yet. I've read the first three, so I will probably read this soon. Probably just read it in a day or whatever. I love Diary of Wimpy Kid, especially the movies. I got the rest of these books at Goodwill, and Goodwill is in my opinion, a little bit more pricey when it comes to books than Salvation Army. Because while Salvation Army does that nice thing with the 10% of the original cost, 
Goodwill is like a dollar or like 99 cents for a paperback and I think two dollars for a hardback for adult books but still I don't know two dollars is asking a lot sometimes for me I just hate spending money the first book I got at the Goodwill is 172 Hours on the Moon by Johan Harstad, and I had heard the, about this book on Padfoot and Prong's channel. She said that this book was super creepy, and I'm a baby when it comes to being scared. I don't like scary movies, I won't go to haunted houses, but I feel like with books it's a little bit different because I'm kind of in control of like what I'm seeing and what I'm picturing. I don't know, for me there's like a difference, especially like with violence and stuff, between seeing it on a screen and like reading about it, because then I kind of have control over what I'm picturing and imagining. So I don't know if that makes any sense, but I feel like this book isn't going to scare me that much, although I have no idea. The back cover says it's been decades since anyone set foot on the moon, but three ordinary teenagers are about to change that, and their lives, forever. So. That sounds interesting. There's a very creepy eye on the cover with some some stranded people. It looks like there's an astronaut here and there is a like shadowy figure in the background. So that is always good. The other day I was sitting in class and somebody apparently was saying my name for a couple of minutes, but I was reading so I did not hear them. And then someone tapped me and I like jumped and I was like, "What?" And they were like, "Hey, she's been saying your name for the last 2 minutes." And I was like, I'm sorry, I'm reading. If you, if you want to get my attention, you have to, like, touch me or, like, yell at me because if I'm reading, I'm probably not even paying attention to the actual world. I'm in some other fictional world, so just a little side story there, but hopefully this book can do that for me. The next book I got I am so excited about, and I don't even know that this existed, but it is Twilight Volume 1, the graphic novel. My dad was with me when I found this book at the Goodwill, and I was like, Dad, they have a Twilight graphic novel. And he was like, okay. And I was like, why are you not as excited as me? Why are you not jumping up and down? Why are you not showing me some enthusiasm here? This is an exciting moment. And he was like, yay? I cannot wait to read this, although I'll have to get um, volume two or whatever, however many volumes that there are in this. The next book that I got is Harry Potter The Tales of Beetle and Bard by J.K. Rowling, and I hadn't really even been planning on reading this, but I saw it at Goodwill and decided to get it. I don't even think I'm in the point in the series yet where they talk about this book or even mention it, but I will get to that part in the series and then I shall read this. The last two books I got from Goodwill are children's books, and I like collecting children's books that I read when I was younger just kind of to have in my library, and also because if I have kids someday, hopefully they will be readers, and I'll just like read them bedtime stories all the time, and they'll be like, Mom, what are we doing tonight? And I'll be like, sustain silent reading, kids, get your books. And they'll be like, yay, we have the best mom ever. And I'll be like, yeah, I know. Now let's all go into the family library and sit down in our beanbag chairs and get reading. That's the goal. That's the goal in life. But the first one that I have is The Boxcar Children by Gertrude Chandler Warner. I just remember imagining like my siblings and I going through what these children went through. And I don't, I don't know how old I was when I read it, elementary school. But it sounded like the most fun thing in the world. And I remember adoring this book. So I think I'm going to try to read it again. And we'll see if it's as fascinating and enthralling this time as it was when I was younger. The last book I got has so much significance in my childhood because in elementary school I would check these books out from the school library every single time we had library class and I would just keep cycling through the series of these books and reading them over and over again. And that is the American Girl series and this one is Meet Kristen and this is book one. And I have no recollection of what these books are even about but I think I want to try to read this again. It is in the most giant print known to man. So that is all the books that I got this month. This is way more books than I usually get, but since I have a YouTube channel, I'm like, oh, well, if I buy these books, I could do a book haul, and that justifies buying them, right? What I paid for these 10 books is what you would pay for one new hardcover book at, like, the store. So for that, I pat myself on the back because I am frugal and I am proud, okay? Anyways, Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!